This evening, uh, I welcome Chris, uh, who okay. has come, Chris the Jacket, as we call him, I can't think why. Um, uh, welcome Chris, he's come to answer my client's questions tonight on bounce back loans. Um, what, what have, how have you learned so much about them in such a short period of time? Okay, so uh, a lot of my clients were coming to me for help, um, as they do with everything. For some reason, I seem to be a magnet for people that want help. So I decided to do my research, find out all about it, and help them get their bounce back loans. So you kind of become a niche expert. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay, thank you. Um, so here we go. Our tonight's webinar is all about uh, answering people's questions on bounce back loans. Thanks, everybody. And welcome to tonight's webinar. Uh, it was more uh, based on uh, getting through the lockdown issues, the property business and you know business lockdown challenges. Um, we've now moved on from that to a certain degree to just look at you know challenges that we're having in our portfolio, what's going on with the market at the moment. Speaking to lots of different people in lots of different fields. Obviously, something that's very, very current is the bounce back loans, and you know a lot of my clients have gone and got bounce back loans, and are using them for different things, right through from one of them spending half of it on a car, to people then investing money into property deals uh, that they know they can pay the monthly payments um, out of the properties they're investing in. Um, <clears throat> so this evening, I've got Chris with me. Evening, Chris. Evening, Ben. Uh, and he has been helping lots of people to get bounce back loans uh, I think through his sourcing business and people are, are saying yeah we would like to uh, uh, you to source us a property and he's been helping them get bounce back loans to go with it so uh, he is um, pretty up to date with which banks are doing which uh, and have what the process is so um, I'm going to uh, ask Chris um, what is the process for getting a bounce back loan? Okay, so the short, short version is that if you already have a business, so whether that's a sole trader business, a partnership or a limited company, uh, in theory you should hopefully have a business account already with a bank. So what you need to do is see if that bank that you bank with has been accredited as a bounce back loan provider. And if they have, it's a fairly simple process of logging into your own business banking, uh, going to the area where you can apply for the bounce back loan with your bank, and submitting the application and going through the details and answering the questions. Now, if you qualify, uh, most of the banks are relatively quick, so within a few working days of being accepted, you'll actually have the funds in your account. So that's really the quick summary version. Um, but what I'll probably do is elaborate a little bit more and just explain that if you're a sole trader, for example, or a self-employed person, you may actually do what a lot of people do, which is pay your funds, your business funds, into your personal account. So, of course, if you do that, that means you cannot directly apply for a business bounce back loan through a personal account. You actually need a business current account. So, we'll be talking a bit more detail about that as we go through. Okay, um, and one of the things I get asked a lot is can we get a bounce back loan if we don't have a company? Um, okay, so the short answer is no, but you need to have a business. So if you don't have a limited company, but you have a sole trader or a partnership business, uh, you may still be eligible. However, as I just mentioned, you need to have a business account, business bank account, not a personal account. And a lot of self-employed, sole traders tend to use their personal accounts. So you need to open up a business account first before you can actually do your application. Okay, so as long as the company's been trading, the limited company's been trading, all the company's been trading before a certain date? Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you started your business or your limited company on the 2nd of March this year, or any time after that, then you won't qualify automatically. So the business must have been established by the latest of the 1st of March this year. Anything after that, unfortunately, you don't qualify. That's one of the qualifying questions. Okay, um, right, so look, it's probably more going to be questions and answers from you that Chris will answer. 
because you're going to have specific things that you're going to want to know about your own individual circumstances. So please feel free to type your questions in the chat box and I'll uh, read them out to Chris and Chris will answer them as best as he can. And I'm sure there'll be some I can help with as well um, if it's a bit more property related. Um, so, um, Madeleine, I'm not quite sure what we're talking about. We start at six. Um, so, I'm not sure what we mean by that. Um, Trevor says, how long does it normally take to get accepted? Okay, so most of the banks, um, if you go onto the government website, so gov.uk forward slash coronavirus, um, click on the business section, the business support section, um, and then when you click onto there, there'll be a link that takes you over to the British Business Bank, and on there they have a page which lists all the current accredited uh, lenders that are allowed to give the bounce back loan. So, for example, uh, most of the major ones like uh, Lloyd's, Santander, HSBC, NatWest, you know, these big high street banks are all accredited to be able to do the bounce back loan. So, if you're banking with somebody on that list, the process is very simple. Uh, literally, log into your own um, business banking, go to the application area for the bounce back loan, fill in the application online. Most of the banks will um, either get you to sign online at the end of your application or the next day you'll have a, uh, an application uh, to sign on uh, Adobe Sign or something similar. So you electronically sign. So it's generally done either the same day or the next day. And assuming that you're accepted, um, the funds will hit your bank anywhere between one working day and five working days is typical for most of the banks. However, there are a few that are just really, really under pressure at the moment. So they are taking uh, a few weeks as opposed to a few days. But um, Barclays is a good example. If you bank with Barclays, you have a business account, you do the application, you're successful. Generally, Barclays, one or two working days and it's straight into your bank account, ready to go. Okay, now I'm starting to get some questions coming in about whether the mortgage, having bounce back loans is going to affect your credit, is it going to affect mortgage affordability? Etc. So we'll get to them when we get to them. I can see them coming towards the, the end. Paul Charles um, is kind of helping us uh, by saying, Barclays say it doesn't matter if a current account was used to run a business. Um, let's just see if I can click on the thing. Uh, yeah, they say it doesn't matter if it's been used to run a business or not. So. Yeah, so the criteria for most of the banks, most of the main banks are actually asking you if you are a sole trader using your personal account, uh, most of them are asking you to open a business current account first before doing the application. Uh, there may be one or two exceptions to that, and if your bank's one of them and you don't have a business account, if they allow you to do the application via the personal account, that's going to speed up your process time. Because if you've got to open a business account, that's actually the thing that's probably going to take longer than the application and receiving the money because of all the banks being under pressure. Um, Charlene says, uh, I am a SE, I have a personal account since 2016. If I change to a business account, would I potentially qualify for bounce back loans? Okay, you just repeat the first part of the question. Yeah, so I'm an SE. Um, Self-employed, I think. Oh, self-employed. Okay. I have, and have a personal account since 2015. Yeah. And if I change it to a business account, the, a new business account isn't going to qualify, is it? Because it's been open since that date. Yeah. So um, it's about when the business was established, not when your business current account was open. So um, I'll detract slightly from that. So, for example, TSB. If you didn't bank with TSB and you weren't a customer of them, and you decided that uh, you wanted to open a business account for a business that was set up, for example, on the 1st of January this year as a sole trader. Maybe you've been using your account with someone like Lloyds Bank. Now, Lloyds Bank, at the moment, are so busy, they're actually refusing to open any business accounts for anybody. So what that means is that if you bank with Lloyds and you think, oh, I'll go over to TSB because they're currently opening business accounts. But what they'll do in a small print is they'll say, well, actually, um, because you weren't a customer before, we're not allowing you to apply for a bounce back loan. So it's not quite as cut and dry answer as you might expect, but what I would suggest you do is um, 
open up a business account with the, with the bank that you already bank with personally, if you can, if they're on the short list of accredited lenders, and that would be probably the fastest way to do it. Um, it's not about when your account was open, it's about when your business was established. So if you started business in 2015, or whichever year you just mentioned, uh, that is well before the 2nd of March this year, which is the cutoff date. Okay, Joe says, hi, my company account is with a bank that doesn't support balance back loans. Will I have to open an account with a bank that is accredited? Uh, yes is the short answer. Um, there is one exception to that. So if you do not bank with HSBC, personally or business, uh, they operate, at the moment I believe they're the only bank that are doing this, uh, they will offer what they call a feeder account. So a feeder account is a temporary business account which they will set up for you. You have to go through the usual procedure of opening, applying for an account, opening the account, specifically asking for a free feeder account. Once they've opened that feeder account, you actually go online, apply for the business bounce back loan. The funds will then be transferred over to your regular bank and then they will automatically close the feeder account with HSBC. Okay. Um, Dave says, I've three limited companies with separate accounts with Starling, but Starling will only give me one bounce back uh, on one account. What can I do? Okay, so even though you're banking with Starling, um, if you get refused a bounce back loan for one of your businesses, you can apply to other lenders. So uh, I, there's no restriction on how many times you can apply to get the loan. However, there is a restriction of one loan per business and you cannot apply for multiple loans for one business with multiple banks unless you've been declined, in which case you can go to a second bank and obviously chance your lucks there. Um, what I'd suggest is you perhaps get in touch and let me know what type of businesses the other ones are that got declined, um, unless you mean that Starling are just restricting you to one account regardless of how many companies you have with them, in which case you need to pick another accredited lender that will open a business account for you um, but bear in mind the cut-off date for this at the moment is the 4th of November and a lot of the banks will probably take several weeks or months to even open your business account for you before you even apply for the loan. So some haste is required. I have had uh, people that have just got straightforward applications with a bank getting their money within three days of asking. Yeah, absolutely. So anybody who's got a business bank account set up already um, generally, the money can be in your account within one, one, two, three, four days, working days. The most of them are fairly quick. So, Jeet says, how much can I borrow and for what purpose? Okay, good question. Um, so, the minimum borrowing on the business bounce back loan is £2,000 and the maximum is 50000 But it's actually based on your uh, either your past turnover or your predicted future turnover. So, for example, you'd need to be turning over at least £8,000 because it's 25% of that is the minimum of 2000 But if your turnover is either over 200000 or anticipated to be over 200000 then you can apply for up to 50000 which would be 25% of the 200 So even if you're turning over a million, it doesn't matter, it's capped at 50 k as a maximum. Okay, somebody that I was speaking to about this just said, Glenn, remember self service Yeah. Ask them another question and they say, Glenn, it's self -serve. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what Glenn's uh, mentioning there, just to remind everybody, uh, it's a self-certification process. So uh, for example, if you've got a business that's been set up in the last um, six to 12 months, you obviously won't have your accounts finalized and prepared and everything else. So even though you might have a rough idea, um, you're self-certifying as to what that turnover is gonna be. And if you've set up very recently, sort of January, February time, um, again, you're at the early days, so you're having to project and predict what your uh, turnover is going to be for the next 12 months. And um, because again, it's self-certified, I mean, I could self-certify that I'm going to do 10 million pounds in the next 12 months, but I might double that target, or I might only do 10% of that target. So I don't know, I can't predict the future. But because it's self-certified, um, you are effectively uh, choosing uh, a number that you believe is realistic. And obviously with the £50,000 or armed with the £50,000 back loan, potentially the profit for your company could be much greater anyway. 
Absolutely, and I, I, I just realised I didn't actually fully answer the previous question, which was um, what you can you use the lane for, um, which was an important part of the question. So, um, the, the official wording on the government website is that it must be used for the economic benefit of the business, and an example of that is working capital, and an example of what it isn't is personal use. So it can't be used for personal use. So if you're going to go off and um, you know, buy a Ferrari in your personal name, that's not going to work. If you're going to do Uber driving in luxury style in Ferraris in London, then that could work because that could be part of your business. Um, you can obviously speak to your accountant and find out, actually, how could I buy a car through my business? Um, so there's lots of grey areas, lots of ways to get around that, but basically working capital for the economic benefit of the business, that's where you really want to focus your funds and make more money from them. Okay, so some of you signed in as RB said, uh, I've just set up an investment company just before CB19 in February, I've not opened a bank business account, would I be eligible for a bounce back loan to buy a property? Yeah, so potentially you would be. Um, I wouldn't necessarily uh, put the application. I wouldn't necessarily put on my application that I was going to use it for buying a property. Is it for, uh, for flipping properties? Okay, but not to buy investment properties. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So the HMRC um, look at property investors in different lights depending on what they're doing. So uh, flipping properties is classed more as a trading business, whereas an investment property buy to let uh, the revenue have a slightly different uh, viewpoint on that. So. Um, that aside, uh, I would just uh, say that if you started the company in February, it potentially will qualify. However, you need to get a business bank account open. So probably best to go to either who you already bank with and see if they're currently opening business accounts. And if they're not, you're going to have to use one of the other bounce back providers uh, that will still be opening business current accounts at the moment. And there is a short list. Okay, uh, Neil said, uh, lenders are now asking if you've had a bounce back loan on a mortgage application, making it difficult for property uh, deposits to come from bounce back loans. Yeah, so um, we've had some experience with this already because the bounce back loan has been around now for about five or six weeks. Um, lenders generally, and I'm being very general here, lenders generally are not favouring uh, seeing funds come from a bounce back loan to be used as deposits for property. Why is that? Well, because they will see you taking a loan out, a uh, bounce back loan, taking that out because they perceive that you are in financial difficulty even though you might not be. Um, because one of the tick boxes that you have to put on there when you're self-certifying is that you've, your business has been affected by COVID-19. Now, most of us have, apart from maybe Amazon. Um, so yes, we've all been affected. Amazon has been affected. Yeah, affected in the positive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so again, you know, a little bit of a grey area, um, but a lot of lenders aren't going to like it if you are um, blatantly using, you know, 50 grand deposits that have come directly from a, a bounce back loan. So speak to your accountant, there will be some uh, easy fixes to get around that and deal with that. Um, speak to your broker, speak to your accountant and they'll give you the solution. If they don't, email Glenn. Uh, Glenn at glennarmstrong.com with two ends and uh, Glenn will either forward your information to me or he will answer your question on that one. Okay, um, Michael says, and I think this says renovated, but I've had renovated six properties since 2005. Uh, all the mortgages are in my personal names, all rents collected by lets and agents and based in my personal account. I have a limited company that has been dormant. How do I proceed with my application? And I would very much think, Michael, that will be you deciding that you've got this dormant company and you are now going to start trading through it. And uh, you know you are going to, yeah, in the business that you're going to be trading in, going to have a turnover of more than what you need to do to qualify for the loan. Yeah, absolutely. So again, this is a sort of grey area. Again, we mentioned the word self-certification. So um, a dormant company is not going to be a lot of good to you. However, if you decide that uh, that company is going to start trading, you know, from a few months ago and start doing some business, then uh, falling into the grey area, you'll probably be able to qualify with uh, at least one of the banks. Okay. Um, Liz says, I have a business, but my visa is no recourse to public funds. Can I still apply? There's a new one for you. Yeah, no, that is a very good one. And I'm not going to guarantee I can give the answer to that. However, um, I'm not 
actually convinced that's public funds. And the reason why is because you have to remember that this is a loan that is backed by the government, not given by the government. So what's happening is the funds that you are borrowing are coming from the bank that you apply for the money. If you default and don't pay the repayments, then the government will step in and cover your repayments. So it's a business loan, it's a business contract, it's with the bank, it's only backed by the government, and you don't actually even have any repayments in the first 12 months anyway, and the interest rate is extremely low, it's 2.5%, which you cannot get on a normal business loan. So really thinking about it, I would say that is not classed as public funds. It's coming from the bank. And it's a, so a business is, loan between the yeah. bank and your business. Yes, her question was, can I still apply if you bit go with? Yep. See what happens. Uh, Joe says, is my personal credit score taken into account when being approved for a bounce back loan? Uh, from what I understand, most lenders are not doing that check. Um, so if you're already banking with them and you have a business bank account, I am under the impression that they are not doing those checks for credit scores. Again, because it is backed 100% by the government, uh, most of the banks are just literally allowing you to self-certify, uh, tick all the boxes that you need to answer the questions and do your own application. Um, I think they're more interested in the people that won't pay it back so that the government steps in and compensates them. Okay, Tina says, Barclays Bank are not letting me apply online. I have to wait for a relationship manager to call me to question me about my limited companies. I've been waiting weeks. Do you know of any way that I can speed this process up? Yeah, Barclays is a little bit of a challenge. So they've had problems with their online system for about three and a half, four weeks. Um, so you're probably not going to get applied online. Um, if you've got a date that's before September to speak with a relationship manager, then well done, you're doing well because that's what the waiting list is at the moment, it's September for most branches. Um, what they'll typically do is they will phone you back um, to arrange an appointment and schedule you in to go to the branch, typically to open it in the branch with a face-to-face uh, -face consultation. So if you've already got an appointment, great. If you haven't got an appointment, chase them to get a date um, and try and get it, you know, ASAP. Uh, right, Michael says, I'm banking with Nationwide, Building Society and Halifax Building Society. Where is it best to place my application? Okay, so Nationwide are not an accredited lender. Um, it doesn't mean that they can't be added to the list in the near future. So it is possible that Nationwide could get on later, but I, I think it's highly unlikely that Nationwide is one of those organisations that doesn't really know if it's a bank or a building society, so it's probably not going to happen. Um, Halifax also are not currently on the list, so you will need to go to a, another bank. Um, if you go to gov.uk forward slash coronavirus, click through to the business support and then click through from there to the British Business Bank that shows you all the accredited lenders. And you'll see, uh, as of today, there's around 20 lenders on there which includes quite a few of the main high street banks and then a few smaller ones, some online ones. So there's a bit of a mixture there. So I would pick one of those, contact them, and uh, see which ones of those are actually still opening business accounts. Because as I mentioned earlier, companies like uh, Lloyd's, NatWest, Santander, they're not opening any new ones. And TSB will open a new one for you, but they won't allow you to apply for a bounce back loan. So maybe go for someone like the co-op that are currently still uh, doing it, Barclays, they're very slow with opening the accounts, but fast on actually giving the loans. Okay, um, Ron says, can't see your screen on my iPhone, we're not displaying the screen this evening, Ron. Uh, Angela said, you can apply via a personal account, but you need to provide accounts to prove turnover, therefore no self-cert. Um, Angela, they're asking about your projected figures, not your previous figures. Yeah, so if you've got a business that's been established um, for a while and you don't have a business account, then um, some banks will ask you for extra information. So even though it is self-certified, um, if you've been established for more than 12 months and you don't have a business account, they are probably going to ask for things like tax return information, maybe UTR number, maybe some accounts, maybe your bank statements. Um, so really, you know, there are instances where if you don't have a business account, they will quiz you more. Okay, 
Um, so Alex says, I have multiple sole trader businesses run from one personal account. Can I get two or more bounce back loans, one for each business? I already have one bounce back loan from the personal account three weeks ago. Okay, so again, technically, uh, yes, you can if you have multiple businesses and you can prove that you know they are established, they have different names. You know, if it's just you trading under your own name and you don't have any other proof of any other trading names, uh, it may be very difficult for you to do that. Um, I would suggest that you uh, go to the likes of uh, maybe Barclays again, for example, whilst they're not the fastest to open the accounts, you can book an appointment with them, tell them you have a number of sole trader businesses that you want to open, give them the information, and obviously to really you know, back up your story, if you've got a, even a one-page website or an email for each of those businesses, any evidence that you've got is obviously going to support your uh, your claim, so that's the route I would suggest for that And I would imagine in the not so distant future they're going to be asking you uh, or requesting that you open up about, uh, bank accounts for each one rather than getting a, a low rate from your own personal account. Yeah. Uh, Mike said my business account is with Tide, can I still get the loan? Okay, so Tide is, uh, for those who don't know, Tide is an online uh, bank and what they do is they um, they will allow you to have uh, an application, um, sorry, not an application, they will allow you to go on their email waiting list. So they claim to have already started doing some bounce back loans. Um, I've yet to see any genuine evidence of it, but they are claiming they have started with some existing clients. Um, but for, if you went on there today, even as an existing client, you would be asked to join a list. So you'll join the email waiting list and at some point in the future, hopefully before they stop doing bounce back loans, they'll come back to you and allow you to apply. Uh, the way that it works is that the banks actually are providing these funds and bear in mind Tide is a relatively new and young bank. So they are now currently in the process of raising hundreds of millions um, after they've already claimed that they've uh, given out around 50 million in bounce back loans. So it's just a waiting game with Tide. Um, the sooner you get on that email waiting list, the sooner the chance of you potentially getting a bounce back loan if they raise sufficient funds to get to you on the list. So A Hussain says, I got a bounce back loan from NatWest. They issued the funds but then cancelled it and removed the funds after 14 days. Is this legal? Surely it's a breach contract. They've given no explanation except that it was an error. Okay, so that's the first time I've heard of a bounce back loan being reclaimed in 14 days. Um, what I would suggest you do is read the small print of the agreement that you signed with NatWest, see if there is anything in there that allows them to do that. If they're not giving you a genuine reason, then I think you probably need to take that to the lawyer, um, put it under their nose and say, you know, tell me what my course of action is. That would be my suggestion on that one. Okay. Um... Jeet said, are these unsecured loans? Correct. So there's no personal guarantees required. They are unsecured loans. Um, again, I mentioned earlier, these are 100% backed by the government. They're self-certified. Most of the banks are you know, just using this as a good excuse to uh, lend out funds. And I would just, you know, if you've got one or more businesses, is get your applications in now before the system gets even more clogged up and before, before we hit the deadline of the 4th of November. Okay, um, Shellcat says, I've already taken a bounce back loan, can I use it for buying a property or something other than my business? Okay, so uh, I mentioned earlier that the official guidelines from the government is that it must be of economical benefit to the business, for example, working capital, um, cannot be used for personal use. So what you can do, um, working capital is a very broad uh, explanation, um, but one thing that I'll give you an example of, some of my clients have decided, because they have multiple businesses, they've decided to open a brand new limited company, uh, put the funds over into the new company by using a loan from each of their other businesses to the new company, so they're basically creating a fund, and as long as that interest rate that you're charging is over two and a half percent, then you would obviously be benefiting your original business that got the bounce back loan. So once the funds are in the new company, 
Um, they are then open to be used for whatever purposes you want. And if you want to run that past your accountant to make sure they concur, that was, that's what a lot of my clients are doing right, right now. Okay, Jeet says, what are the rates and what are the terms? Okay, so the terms are, it's a six year fixed loan and the terms are 2.5% interest per annum. There are no repayments in the first year. There's no penalties for paying back early. However, uh, reading through everything that I've looked at, it doesn't say that you uh, can get away with not paying any interest. So if you decide to pay it back in the first six months, uh, or even the first 12 months while there's no repayments, they may still charge you some interest payments. But it is six year loan, first year no repayments, two and a half percent fixed for the rest of the term um, for each year. And that is literally the cheapest business money that you can borrow. In fact, it's like mortgage rates for your own home. Okay. Um, right, so Tamar Link's asked the same question. Um, can you invest 50 grand out of a loan into a property, for example, 25k deposit each on two properties? I think we just answered that. Um, my uh, Ken Renton says, My name is a company was formed June 2019, but only £300 been through it. Um, would I stand a chance of qualifying for the bounce back loan? I need 7k to uh, borrow, I need 7k to borrow, and I bank with Lloyd's regards, Ken. Okay, so again, um, this falls into a slightly grey area and self-certified, as we mentioned earlier. Um, worst case scenario is you don't get it. Yeah, so um, if you believe that when you start trading, which you're going to do in the next you know, few weeks or months, and that your turnover is going to be a certain figure, then you actually certify something and say that's what it's going to be, and then they'll end based on that figure that you self-certified. And one other thing you can do with limited companies in the first year is you can actually change your accounting date, your year end, I believe it's up to around six months, maybe or more, check with your accountant or not. Um, Michael says, is there a reputable agent who will process the application? Um, I've not actually looked into uh, third party agents doing this for you, um, however the process is so simple I would recommend you just do it yourself, yeah, it's a very simple process. I've known somebody that got charged two grand. Yeah. Uh, and all they did is took four minutes to apply on their bank account for them and got it for them yeah. and uh, charged them two grand for it. Yeah, if you want to pay me two grand, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, and our, our um, videographer this evening said he'd do it for 500 quid. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, uh, G says, could you apply it if you're a self-employed contractor operating by a limited company? Uh, technically, yes. Um, you still need to uh, go through the process of ticking all the boxes and self-certifying and uh, just you know, do all the usual things for applying for it. But on the basis of that question, yeah, it sounds like you would be able to. Mm -hmm. um, Damien says, what's about root company, i.e. company whose shares are owned by another company that already applied? Okay, there are some slight complications. So if you have, uh, for example, four companies and three of them are in the group owned by partly or wholly by another one, like a parent company, for example, um, I believe the rules are you can actually apply for one loan for the group. So if it's co-ownership or partnership by other companies, um, you'll need to go onto the uh, gov.uk forward slash coronavirus and go and read the small print on that. Just look up um, groups of companies and companies owned by other companies. Uh, it's, it's fairly clear and straightforward, but on that example, it sounds like you probably can only do one. Okay, um, we're planning to use 50K uh, about to make loans to cover uh, our own money to buy and refurb and find and refinance, but apparently before the lenders don't like it, would not lend. What are your thoughts? Yeah, we mentioned earlier, so uh, lenders really don't uh, appreciate if you're going to be using bounce back loans for uh, funding property deals. So you need to look at uh, a creative way or solution around that. So have a chat with either Dave or your accountant and we'll see if we can figure a solution for that point. 
Okay, Andrew says, if a business was incorporated several years ago, but has been dormant, can it be treated as a new business and therefore borrow based on objective turnover, or does it count as an old business and therefore turnover is rated as zero? Yeah, so if it's a dormant company and you've been doing your annual returns as a zero return, um, so that the company's still technically uh, alive, it's not been dissolved or anything yet, then you know you could have uh, started trading in January, February this year or had the intent to start the, the business up again. Um, so it's really about when you started trading with that business. Uh, if you've not got accounts, so you haven't actually been trading in the last 12 months, so you don't have accounts, then it's all self-certified as we mentioned earlier. A little bit of a grey area, so uh, you know it's down to you guys if you want to apply. Paul says, can I get this loan for a startup business? And the answer is yes. Um, only, only if the business was started before the 2nd of March this year. Yes, yeah. Um, uh, what evidence do they ask for if you self-certify estimated takings? Okay, so if you have a business account already with a bank, um, most of the lenders are not asking you for any proof of funds. So they are literally just asking you to self-certify, tick a couple of boxes to say that you are um, been affected by COVID, that you were not in financial difficulty on the 31st of December 2019. In other words, you, you know, your business wasn't going into liquidation before coronavirus. Um, those are two of the main sort of tick boxes. Um, and so really then it's, like I said, it's self-certified. So you guys can use your imagination there. Uh, any feedback? RE above please, also what's the differences with the C bills option? Okay, so Sybils, um, so that's C-I, uh, I'll give it right now, Sybils. C-B-I-L-S. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's C-B-I-L-S. Um, so if you've already applied for a Sybils loan, uh, the technical answer is you're not allowed to apply for a bounce back loan unless that bounce back loan can pay off the Sybils loan in full. Now, that is the only exception, and the reason they're allowing that is because the Sybils loan is a higher rate of interest. So one of the things you're allowed to do with your bounce back loan is pay off other debt. And specifically with the Sybils loan, um, if you've applied for that, been accepted, received the money, as long as you get accepted for the bounce back loan, you're allowed to use that, but only to pay off in full the Sybils loan. If there's anything left over, then obviously you can use that for working capital or anything else. Uh, ben says, <clears throat> will the bounce back loan stay in the credit file and potentially hinder future borrowing? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, at the moment, we don't have any evidence that it's going to be um, showing on the credit file. However, I would imagine that it will. So I would prepare for worst case scenario. Um, so, you know, this is, remember, this is a business loan. Uh, this is why it's done through business accounts. So if it's a limited company, it's for the business, not for you personally. So, you know, again, we had this sort of questioning, talking about these things back in the sort of early days of, uh, of lockdown, when people were applying for mortgage holidays. Um, again, you know, that could potentially affect your future borrowing, particularly with the lender that you had a three month holiday with. So, you know, all good things to bear in mind. Uh, Ron said, my wife applied for me and got me a small loan. Can I reapply as she put in the wrong figures or someone's in trouble? Um, yeah, so the answer to that at the moment is no. Um, you're not allowed to reapply or cancel the existing one. That's not how it works. Uh, there is a very, very small, slim possibility that you may be allowed in the future if the government decide to allow this, they may allow you to go back for a top up on it um, based on the fact that now you have your, you know, your latest accounts or figures and you need to put the correct figure through. But nothing on that has been clarified or confirmed as yet, so I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, Louisa says, can one apply for a bounce back loan through a feeder account and then transfer the money to another bank account? Yeah, that's exactly how the feeder account works. So HSBC are the only bank at the moment that are doing feeder accounts. Um, if they open a feeder account for you, uh, it literally is like a temporary business account. The funds will flow into your temporary feeder account. Then the funds will be transferred to your personal account with your other bank. And then they will automatically close the HSBC feeder account. 
and that's gone. You, know, you won't be banking with them anymore. So feed account, HSBC, literally temporary, and then it's closed and it's gone. Okay. Um, Joe said, I have an application in that West Open business account. We already have a personal account. Are they not opening new accounts? Yeah, so Matt West, Lloyds, um, Santander, there's quite a few banks that are not opening new business accounts even for existing personal lenders. Um, they are just too inundated right now. Now, that could literally change any day with any bank. So it is definitely worth double checking back in the meantime. But rather than wait for that, I would suggest you go to one of the banks that are still opening business accounts and still allowing you to apply for bounce back loans. Um, so that would be uh, like a feeder account with HSBC, as long as you don't bank with them already. Uh, Barclays, you can go and open up a business account with them at present, but they won't allow you to do it online. You have to phone up and ask for an appointment to go into your branch. If you want a sooner appointment, a little tip for you, uh, is you could request nicely, and it's all potluck on you on the phone. If you ask nicely, they might allow you to go to a branch that is not one of your nearest branches. So it could be a more remote village or town branch where they don't have so much demand, and you may get an earlier appointment before September. Okay, um, Charlie says, I've noticed that in the cheap sub 100 grand uh, part of the market, properties in my area in northwest, uh, properties in my area in the northwest are flying out. I assume that this is partially due to the amount of money floats around due to bounce back loans. When do you think prices will drop? Uh, hang on a second, let me get my crystal ball out. Uh, afraid it's very cloudy. Uh, I can't see into it, it's not actually letting me uh, predict. Um, look, I don't know where we're going with this. Um, the fact that everything's booming at the moment, nobody was expecting it to. If we do go back prior to or just start as um, uh, Brexit was announced as being kind of finalised, uh, everything started flying then, and then Bre and then uh, COVID come in and put that it set it all back a bit. So I don't know whether we were on a natural climb. Obviously, with the extra cash about, that's going to affect things. People are going to want to use it to, to acquire more investments. Um, so uh, only time will tell. Um, but the way things seem to be going at the moment, uh, all the estate agents are really, really busy. Um, Mike says, companies supplied two sets of accounts to agents MRC year one was 12 grand, year two was 48 grand. My projected figure is 200, is that it's okay over the next two years? Uh, Mike, it's okay if that's what you think it's going to be. Um, the same says, thanks, Glenn. Also, what's the difference with the signals option? Um, and that was basically. Right, no, sorry, I've lost the thread. Uh, I got a bounce back loan from NetWest, they issued funds, but then cancelled it. Um, um, so, sorry, um, I, I say no, I've got you down here. Is, um, I'm not quite sure um, what that question is about the signals. Um, uh, Alex said, I received 50 grand bounce back loan from my maintenance company. Can I loan this money to my property development company? Yes, I have a loan agreement in place and ideally more than two and a half percent interest. Of course, uh, how long that uh, loan lasts and if the interest is rolled up to a later date is entirely up to you, your businesses. Okay, Mike said, would it be better to open a business account despite banking retired for two years? Um, I would do it as a precaution and the only reason being is because as I mentioned earlier, the tide of an online bank, they're relatively new in the market, they don't have masses of funds, they are working to raise hundreds of millions more to be able to cope with the demand for bounce back loans. There's no guarantee they're going to raise enough funds and there's no guarantee that they're going to get to you on their list of, you know, 
potentially hundreds of thousands of people on the waiting list. So as a backup precaution, won't hurt to go and open um, another business account with another bank, one of the ones that's still allowing you to open up a business account. And then if your business account, for example, let's say you go to Barclays, if that gets opened before Tide allow you to do your application for a bounce back loan, then obviously apply with Barclays because they will be you know, quick once they've got the new bank account set up for you. Uh, Jeff makes a point. Um, I'm not sure this is the right amount. It says repayments will be 937.50 from month 13. Yeah, that's correct for 50,000 um, pounds. But remember, you're only paying over five years of repayments. The first year there are no repayments. Okay, but if we're using it for, um, even if we're using it for two, someone uses it for two deposits, they're going to have to pay 500 quid a month from each one of their properties yep. to cover it. So it's probably not the best use of it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you an example of what some of my clients are doing is they're, they are getting a little bit creative. They're looking for properties that they can blow, that buy below market value, ones that need some work doing to them, and ones that once they refinance them, they can extract most of the money back out. Now, uh, just as an example, let's say you found five properties and you just left, left, ended up leaving 10 grand in each one after refurb, and they're just regular buy to lets that are giving you at least a couple of hundred pounds net profit. That's a thousand pounds per month that's going to pay you 937. Really, Chris? Leave money in. I'm just saying, you know, really? if, you're not, if you're not very good just, at doing this, just stop it. Why don't you leave money in a property deal? I just do not care that. Sorry, I just. Uh, <laughs> um, Polly says, I have a dissolved company, can I reinstate and then apply? Uh, you can try, but don't get your hopes up. Uh, Neil said, can it be used for an existing business that I buy now? Uh, yes, is the answer. However, if you try and buy a, uh, a company off the shelf, so um, normally when you set up a limited company, you'd go online or ask your accountant and they'd set one up and it'd be the incorporation date would be today, the day you're, you're setting it up. There are specialist companies out there that sell limited companies that were set up six months ago, 12 months ago, even 10 years ago. Um, and they've been, you know, they choose like funky names or whatever and they charge, you know, from a few hundred quid to a few thousand pounds for them. Now in theory, yes, you could get one of those. Um, however, most of those sellers have already twigged on to the fact that people are doing that and they are either bumping up the prices or not selling them to people. Um, there, is, there is some grey area there. So, you can certainly give it a go. Ron says, what happens if I can't repay the loan? Then you will de you'll default on the loan. Um, your business is responsible. So if you're a limited company, then obviously you're limited uh, by the number of shares in your company. So it's a limited liability company. Um, if you are doing it as a sole trader, again, it's, you know, it's your sole trader business, but it's, again, effectively, it's you as a person that's uh, responsible and going to be de defaulting on it. Now it's backed 100% by the government, so because you're not putting a personal guarantee on it, whilst they might affect your credit score, what they can't do is they can't come after your home because you've not signed a personal guarantee for it. So the bank will go to the government and they will ask the government to pay the money back to them. So the worst, I guess, is your credit score will be hit. From the limited company? Yeah. Okay, from Faisal from said, can one director more than one bounce back loan on different companies? Yeah, if, you're, if you own multiple limited companies, each business can potentially qualify for its own bounce back loan, even if you are the director of 10 limited companies. Um, Damien said, I'm someone who has a limited company, they're in the process of closing down, um, it hasn't traded for over a year, um, can they reverse the process and apply for a bounce back loan? Yeah, if the company's not been dissolved yet, then you've got a better chance of um, you know, stopping the process and applying for a bounce back loan. Uh, but just be aware of the fact that there is one of the self serve questions is, was the company in financial difficulty on the 31st of December 2019? So, you know, was it just that they decided to stop trading and wind the company down? Or was there some big financial issues, you know, were they going into administration? 
So that's something you need to double check for yourself before you uh, part with any cash to buy a, a business that potentially might not qualify. Um, Tina says, if you apply for a bounce back loan from your property limited company, what do you say the money is for um, if they frown on it for being used for property? Okay, so um, as I mentioned earlier, the government guidelines are that the bounce back loan must be used for economic benefit of the business and they give it an actual example of working capital. So if you use those exact words that you plan to use it for working capital, then that will give you the best chance of uh, ensuring that you get it. Okay, uh, Salik so says, I'm a limited company which I bought property to convert into six flats. No transaction went through, um, waiting for planning. Can I get a bounce back loan? Potentially, yes. Um, and A has saying to clarify his previous question, so basically then, the guest said if you have a seagulls, you would have to pay your it off with a bounce back loan if you've got one. So my question was, if you have a bounce back loan, then you can't get a seagulls. I thought seagulls were linked to an asset back loan. Right. So, yes, you can't, if you don't have a Sybil's loan and you apply for a bounce back loan, that's fine. But if you do have a Sybil's loan already, you're technically not supposed to apply for a bounce back loan unless you can use that bounce back loan if you qualify for it to pay off your Sybil's loan in full. So that's the only exception to the rule. So hopefully that answers the question. Okay, um, <clears throat> we've literally got loads of questions, but... Um, I'm going to make this the last question of the evening. Um, Michael Jones says, is creating a letting agency business a legitimate bounce back loan purpose? Okay, so if that business was created before the 2nd of March this year, then potentially again, yes, it should qualify for a bounce back loan. Okay, so thanks very much, Chris, for joining us this evening. Pleasure. Uh, and helping everyone answer their questions. Um, there are a lot of people uh, within my uh, mention program who have had bounce back loans and I'm sure uh, a few more of you on here will uh, attempt to get them. Um, it is allowing people to do things that they weren't doing before uh, and it is the cheapest money you'll get so um, you'll draw your own conclusions whether or not you should be applying for them. Uh, tomorrow evening I am going to be doing my weekly Thursday question and answer session and Friday G uh, Mortgage Broker will be back. So have a great evening everybody, uh, wish everyone safe, uh, safety at the moment, please don't get complacent, take care and have a great evening.